But then my wife said something super helpful, which was, Marcus, you look like you're making duck lips in the thumbnail of this video. And I was like, okay, that sort of that sort of meshes with that fear that I had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> like being judged when I yeah. put in this clip. KB and I discuss getting over your hangups to market yourself on social media and the importance of thumbnails. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the first hurdle to overcome was my discomfort mm. with social media. My discomfort with um, drawing attention to myself online. Yes. It's it's not it's not it's not a comfortable thing to get over. Yeah. Like, it's like, like how how do I look? Is my face symmetrical enough? It's not. <laughs> is like is the way that I talk weird or grating on the ears? I don't like listening to myself talk, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Like like these flaws, these thoughts in the backs of my, in the back of my head are like like they're they're constantly there, but like it's okay. Like what's literally what's the worst that can happen? Right. Somebody sees it and doesn't like it. Oh no. Somebody yeah. didn't like it. And honestly, your videos are coming out really well. I like the way you put the cue card. I like your consistency on the brand. Yeah. Like I think that it's 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 you know what I mean? It, yeah. At first I wasn't I wasn't gonna do um thumbnail. gonna do like, thumbnails. But then my wife said something super helpful, which was, Marcus, you look like you're making duck lips in the thumbnail of this video. And I was like, okay, that sort of that sort of meshes with that fear that I had earlier. Being <laughs> <right. laughs> like judged when I yeah. put myself on there. <laughs> right, right. So, oh, yeah. No, okay. So let's let's fix that. And uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Yeah. Like I just click the design ideas and it spits out a bunch of like really nice professional looking ideas and that's that's what I use as the thumbnail. Too easy. It's too like too easy. I use Canva, same same thing, right? It's too easy, right? Um and and just to take that little extra effort to do that it makes your stuff looks way like like totally more professional. I thought so. Yeah, so, that's what I thought too. And especially if this is going to be your prime, your spearhead, right? The more things you can work out to make it look more professional, the better. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Beast, if you know who Mr. Beast is, he's a big YouTuber. He's like the biggest yeah. YouTuber. Um, when he when he gets when he starts when you get him in a one of his interviews, we talking about like his processes, which is a super insightful um, header, like thumbnails is the business yeah the content's the after effect the thumbnail is the business the draw yeah what draws I, somebody to your content yeah they put 80 90 percent on the on the thumbnail and 10 percent on the content because the content will happen because they're crazy right and they're a bunch of young guys doing crazy things with lots of f and money so yeah. they they know their content's going to be outrageous you know that's not gonna that's not a concern that's Right, but what is a concern? The thumbnail. That is a creative concern. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.